Good day everyone, especially to the English teachers out there. So today I'm going to give you some very important reasons why teachers or English teachers must have to teach functional grammar rather than the traditional grammar. So what is functional grammar? So it is a grammar model developed by Michael Halliday in the 1960s. It emphasizes the way spoken and written language operate in different social situations. It is still gaining popularity in schools and is helpful for EFL students to achieve success. In the field of language teaching, functional grammar has more applications in speaking and writing. The main reason is that functional grammar serves the communicative purpose of EFL students learning the English language and provides the opportunity for EFL students to recognize the linguistic features of the language which they need to learn from success at school. In traditional grammar, there are 10 parts of speech, the noun, verb, adjective, adverb, pronoun, number, article, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. The niche of these 10 classes can be divided into some categories based on their functions. In functional grammar, these classes of words do not disappear. However, functional grammar places English words into four big groups, the noun group, verb group, adjective group, and prepositional group. So what is the difference between traditional grammar and functional grammar? So in the sentence, his good friend wrote this book in America. Traditional grammar, his is pronoun, good is adjective, friend is noun, wrote is verb, this is pronoun, book is noun, in is preposition, and America is a noun. In functional grammar, his good friend is the nominal group, wrote this book is verbal group, and in America is the prepositional group. Another example is the sentence, this bridge was built before the 19th century. So in traditional grammar, this bridge is subject, was built is predicator, before the 19th century is the prepositional group. And in functional grammar, this bridge is theme, was built before the 19th century is rim. Another is, it is also under functional grammar, this bridge is goal, was built is the process, and before the 19th century is the circumstance. Research shows that anxious students felt a deep self-consciousness when asked to speak using English language in the presence of other people. They worried much about the errors they might be committing, and they did not like being laughed at or making a fool of themselves in public. Students try to avoid activities like recitation, speech delivery, and the like since speaking needed to be spontaneous and learners find it embarrassing on their part when the entire class hears every single mistake they committed. Traditional grammar, it is concerned with the ways words are organized within sentences and looks at a language as a set of rules where students most likely to commit mistakes here. It is a prescriptive one and telling what you can and what you cannot say. It also provides rules for correcting what is often referred to as grammatical errors. Whereas the functional grammar, it respects speakers' rights to make up their minds about how they choose to talk, and it is concerned with how the various bits of language in a text work together as part of a larger system to construct meaning. It's a beautiful